curiosities about extraordinary natural phenomena that you didn't know about. Let's get started. Number 1. Exploding Lake Mystery Unraveled in Cameroon Welcome to our special feature on one of nature's most mysterious occurrences, the exploding lake in Cameroon, a phenomenon as deadly as it is mesmerizing. Nestled in the northwest region, Lake Nyas, seemingly tranquil, holds a deadly secret beneath its serene waters. In 1986, this picturesque lake turned into a nightmare when it explosively released a massive cloud of carbon dioxide gas. This rare natural disaster is known as a limic eruption. It occurs when CO2 builds up in lake waters, turning them into a ticking time bomb. The tragedy struck overnight, releasing approximately 1.6 million tons of CO2, suffocating over 1,700 people and countless animals in nearby villages. The gas, heavier than air, hugged the ground and descended down valleys, displacing breathable air and asphyxiating all life forms in its path. What causes such a buildup of gas? Geologists believe it's due to volcanic activity beneath the lake, continuously leaking carbon dioxide into the water. The lake's turnover, where cooler surface water sinks and warmer depths rise, normally helps disperse trapped gases. But in Lake Nyos, this didn't occur. After the disaster, scientists installed degassing tubes to siphon off gas from the lake's depths, aiming to prevent future eruptions. These tubes work continuously, slowly releasing gas into the air before pressures become critical, acting as a safety valve for the lake. While the degassing has reduced the risk, the threat remains, requiring constant monitoring to ensure the safety of thousands living nearby. This event has spurred similar precautions in other volcanic lakes across the globe, safeguarding communities against this rare but devastating natural phenomenon. Understanding and respecting the power of nature is crucial, as the events at Lake Nyos remind us of the delicate balance in our environment. Join us as we keep exploring our planet's most astonishing secrets, reminding everyone about the wonders and dangers of the natural world. Number 2. Exploring the Birth of Islands, the Role of Underwater Volcanoes Welcome to the mysterious world beneath the ocean's surface, where underwater volcanoes are not just natural phenomena but architects of new lands. Today, we explore how these hidden giants form islands. Deep below the sea, where tectonic plates meet, pressure builds, and magma from the Earth's core finds its way upwards. This is the beginning of an underwater volcano. As the magma pushes through the cracks in the ocean floor, it erupts, spewing lava and ash into the water. This process might seem violent but it's nature's way of building. Over time, the erupted materials start to pile up. Layer after layer, they build upon each other, gradually rising toward the ocean's surface. This is an underwater volcano growing. While many of these formations remain hidden beneath the waves, some reach the critical point where they break the ocean's surface, creating new land. This new land is what we call an island. Each eruption can add layers to the emerging island. The lava that flows into the water cools rapidly, solidifying into rock. These rocks form the backbone of new islands. But the process doesn't stop there. With each subsequent eruption, the island increases in size. Depending on the volcanic activity, this can happen over centuries or even quicker. These new islands are often barren at first, but they eventually become colonized by plants and animals. Seeds carried by wind or birds take root, starting a new ecosystem. This process demonstrates the dynamic nature of our planet. Underwater volcanoes play a crucial role in shaping the Earth's topography and creating new habitats. Consider the famous islands of Hawaii, born out of the same violent yet creative underwater volcanic activity. Each island tells a story of fiery beginnings beneath the Pacific. The formation of these islands can also affect global ecosystems and human history. They provide new grounds for biodiversity and can become strategic locations for maritime activities. Studying these phenomena not only helps us understand geological processes but also prepares us for potential hazards like tsunamis, which are often associated with underwater volcanic activity. The exploration of underwater volcanoes and their capacity to form islands is still a developing field. With advanced technology, we continue to uncover the secrets of these deep-sea giants. As we delve deeper into the ocean's mysteries, we gain more insights into the Earth's complex systems. Each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle of our planet's amazing capabilities. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. The ocean holds many secrets, and the story of underwater volcanoes is just one of them. Stay curious, and keep exploring. Number 3. Exploring the Phenomenon of Fire Rainbows and Their Formation Welcome to another episode on our channel where today we're diving into one of nature's most spectacular phenomena, the fire rainbow. But what exactly is this stunning visual marvel? 
Contrary to what the name suggests, fire rainbows have nothing to do with actual fire. They are a colorful spectacle that lights up the sky, but how does this happen? Officially known as circumhorizontal arcs, fire rainbows are not rainbows and they don't involve fire. They are an optical phenomenon related to the refraction of light. This dazzling display occurs when the sun is high in the sky, at least 58 degrees above the horizon. This condition limits the occurrence to certain latitudes and specific times of the year. The magic begins when sunlight enters high-altitude cirrus clouds, which are thin and wispy, containing millions of tiny ice crystals. These ice crystals act as prisms. As the light passes through these hexagonal ice prisms, it is refracted, or bent, in the same way that light splits into colors through a glass prism. Each color of the spectrum bends at a slightly different angle, spreading the colors apart and creating a broad, horizontal band of vivid colors much like an actual rainbow. What distinguishes fire rainbows from the usual rainbows is their color intensity and horizontal alignment. This happens because of the specific alignment of the ice crystals. The best time to spot a fire rainbow is during the summer months when the sun's position is just right. The occurrence is relatively rare, adding to its mystical allure. The colors in a fire rainbow are often pastel, but they can appear vividly in areas where the sky is particularly clear and the sun is perfectly positioned. It's important to note that you can't see a fire rainbow everywhere. They are most commonly observed in the United States, particularly in areas like the Midwest and nearby regions. To capture this phenomenon, patience and a bit of luck are needed. Being in the right place at the right time under perfect meteorological conditions is crucial. In conclusion, the fire rainbow is one of those extraordinary natural phenomena that remind us of the incredible beauty of our planet. It's a stunning reminder of what nature can do when conditions align perfectly. Thank you for tuning in and exploring the fascinating world of fire rainbows with us. Stay curious, and keep exploring the wonders of the earth and sky. Number 4. Mysteries of the Self-Moving Rocks in Death Valley Welcome to the mysterious world of Death Valley, where the desert landscape holds an intriguing secret, the phenomenon of sliding rocks. Imagine vast, dry lake beds, known as playas, under the scorching sun. Here, rocks move. But these aren't just small pebbles. Some weigh as much as 700 pounds. Yet, they glide across the ground, leaving trails behind them. The question that puzzles scientists and visitors alike is, how do these heavy rocks move on their own? First observed over a century ago, these moving rocks have spawned numerous theories. Some even thought supernatural forces were at play. However, the truth is grounded in nature's own forces. It involves a perfect blend of ice, water, and wind. During winter, the playa fills with a shallow pool of water. Overnight, temperatures plummet, freezing the water into thin sheets of ice. As the sun rises, the ice begins to melt. But if the wind picks up at this time, it pushes large ice sheets with rocks embedded in them. This movement across the slippery, muddy bottom of the playa is what causes the rocks to slide. Over time, as conditions repeat, rocks carve long trails in the playa surface, some stretching over 1,000 feet. This natural occurrence was only recently understood. In 2014, researchers used GPS and time-lapse photography to finally capture the rocks in motion. This discovery not only solved the mystery but also highlighted the delicate interplay of natural elements in our world. So, next time you find yourself in Death Valley, look out for these traveling stones. They are a testament to the subtle yet powerful forces of nature. And remember, every trail tells a story of a cold night and a breezy day, beneath the vast, starry skies of one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Number 5. Unveiling the Mysteries of Mexico's Giant Crystal Caves Welcome to the fascinating world of nature's underground marvels. Today, we're exploring the stunning giant crystal caves of Mexico, a phenomenon that captures the imagination of scientists and adventurers alike. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, in the rugged landscape of Chihuahua, Mexico, lies the hidden wonder of the Nica mine. This mine is not only rich in lead and silver but also houses extraordinary treasures. Discovered in 2000 by miners, the Cave of Crystals or Cueva de los Cristales, holds some of the largest natural crystals ever found. These aren't just any crystals, they are selenite, a form of gypsum. These magnificent crystals can reach lengths of up to 12 meters and weigh several tons. The conditions that led to their formation are as unique as the crystals themselves. The cave's extremely high temperatures and humidity levels, close to 100%, create an inhospitable environment for humans but the perfect conditions for crystal growth. This environment is crucial for their formation. The process began millions of years ago when volcanic activity heated groundwater saturated with minerals, including gypsum. This superheated mineral-rich water then filled the caves. 
Over time, as the water cooled and began to evaporate, it left behind these minerals. The constant temperature and mineral-rich waters allowed the crystals to start forming and continue growing. Selenite, the crystal variety found here, is known for its clarity and natural luster, which are due to the continuous, stable conditions in the cave. This stability is a key factor in their size and purity. The giant crystal cave is not just a natural wonder but also a natural laboratory. Scientists study these crystals to learn more about geology, mineralogy, and the conditions of the Earth's past. Understanding these formations helps us grasp how extreme environments can host life and how similar conditions might be found on other planets. This could provide clues about extraterrestrial life. Sadly, these caves are at risk. The mine's operations affect the water table that keeps the caves flooded, necessary to preserve the crystals. If the water levels drop, the crystals could be damaged. Efforts are ongoing to find the best way to preserve this natural wonder. Proposals include controlled flooding to maintain the water level, even if mining eventually ceases. Visiting or studying these caves is not for the faint-hearted. It requires special suits and large amounts of ice to manage the heat and humidity, making every trip a challenging adventure. As we wrap up our journey through the crystal caves, we are reminded of the delicate balance that nature maintains. It underscores the importance of preserving such extraordinary sites for future generations to marvel and learn. Let us know in the comments if you know other phenomena to share with us. Leave your like, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.